The heart statues have finally been restocked at a marked up price. I've made a delicious egg as per your recommendations in the comment section, and I have a ton planned for today's episode. But Chaos, what's with that old shoe? You'll find out in just a little while. So sit back, relax, and welcome to Terracor. Shoe seagulls, get out of here. Greetings, Terrarians, Chaos here. Welcome back to Terracor. We are now on episode six. I hope you all are enjoying the series because I sure am. And today we are going to have a very busy, get out of here, and delicious episode. First and foremost, it is a new day for the, the mining world. And we're going to be tearing down the dungeon on a live stream. I'll have clips of it so you can see part of it in today's video. But there will be a recap of that live stream on my second YouTube channel at youtube.com slash chaos live. In addition to that, I have some shenanigans planned, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But we're also going to work on the pontoon here. I have taken down the heart that uh, Kishin left here for Valentine's Day, as sweet as it was. It's going to be in the way of uh, the expansion. <laughs> so we're going to be working on that, and I'll talk about that in a little bit as well. And I want to start the shop, the next shop that I'm going to be building. And I don't know if I'll finish it today, but we'll at least get it started. But for now, let's head over to the dungeon. It is time to reset the mining world for the week. And I thought that we could give a moment of silence to Guy's best friend, Bob. Rest in peace, friend. During this live stream, which happened over on twitch.tv slash chaos live, six different Terracore members, including myself, showed up to tear down this dungeon. And let me tell you that it got absolutely trashed. Our goal was to get as many resources and decorations as possible, which we can use in our builds over the next year, or to sell to each other. What I ended up getting from this dungeon should last me for a few months at the least, but I still want to go back and tear down a green dungeon as well next time our mining world has one. That live stream was pretty wild and a lot of fun, and we had more people on the server joining than I thought we would. Look at this. This is where the dungeon used to be. Now, we didn't do everything, everything. And some people might have continued this after the stream ended. Let's see if we go down here. I'm curious. Yes, it looks like they continued a little bit. Not much, but look at how far of a drop that was. And that's only one side. The other side is far, far more. <laughs> and then... Once we had our fill on blocks and walls, we went into the dungeon to get as much furniture and loot as we could hold. Now I'm just grabbing the rest of it um, from my storage up above and grabbing the piggy bank and the safe and whatnot. But all of the other stuff I've already transported to the base. We knocked this place out. There might still be some loot in here, to be honest. I could go around and see if there's any loot I don't think there's much, not much worth getting at least. Although, <laughs> if people left a bunch of these sconces around, I think I might grab them. Because, uh, I really like the way those look. You know, I'm gonna peek around. I'm gonna peek around and see if there's any, any more of those just kind of tucked away that I can grab. Um, yeah, I'm out of here. 
Before I get to building the expansion for the pontoon, I want to restock my minigame so that people have a chance to get to play it again before they spend all their money somewhere else. <laughs> so I've done a ton of fishing and I've got a lot of supplies gathered together over here to the left. As you can see, we have 10 crates. As you can imagine, they are various different prizes. Now, just like last time, the grand prize, I imagine what will maybe be the grand prize for people, will be one entire stack of mana crystals. Again, I'm selling each one of these crates for 30 crystals, they don't know what they're getting and they're not allowed to tell other people what they got. So they'll never know if that grand prize has been won or not. I decided to no longer give away mana crystals in any of the other prize chests, but I did make sure that they were balanced relatively to increase the value of the chest. And then the next one is going to be a huge one, but I thought it would be fun, especially since not everybody on the server is a builder. I'm going to offer up a free build. And then the last one is breakfast for two. Probably a losing chest, but let's be honest, bacon? Not bad. And I know several people that would be happy to get a hold of coffee. And of course, these are decorative. I'm going to offer the 10 plates so that people could set them around if they want to. But it's also a balanced breakfast, except for the grain. I don't really have any grain things. Anyway, those are the prices. I need to get them loaded up in the minigame. I'm just finishing up uh, the details on the new tombstones. Uh, just writing mysterious messages here. They don't actually point out to the the winning chest. And I had mentioned that I have restocked the game and already could just hear. <laughs> it looks like Kishin has a sale going on at her wood shop that I'd like to take advantage of. 20% off of her dynasty wood, five mana crystals per stack. That's a pretty good price, and considering we don't always get those from the Traveling Merchant, it could be pretty handy to stock up on. I use it fairly often, obviously in my Asian-inspired builds, but also in my techie builds, which I plan to do quite a bit of in the future. So, are they up here? Yes. Um, I don't know how many of them I want to buy. I guess it depends on how much money I'm carrying out me at the moment. Obviously, that's not all of my money. I've got a lot more stashed at the base. Let's buy five stacks of them let's say i just want to build the pontoon i just want to work i just want to record but i've had four blood moons and now two goblin invasions today this is getting ridiculous i wish there was some way to be like okay we've completed this can you stop naturally spawning now like the eye of cthulhu or something like that that it can only spawn when you haven't completed it already and stop bothering me when I'm trying to build. Ugh. Oh, it's so annoying. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna get started on that pontoon expansion. Now, since I can no longer build to the right of the raft due to the world's edge preventing camera scrolling any further, I'm going to start building upwards. I can build to the left and obviously underwater. And in the next episode, I'm thinking of actually detailing the beach and expanding the base in that direction. But for now, I'm going to start by building a large rickety tower in the center of the first pontoon. And while I work in that, I wanted to thank you all very much for making it this far into the video. You all are truly amazing, and I'm so glad you've been enjoying Terracore as much as I have. If you'd like to help support this series and ensure it keeps going, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe and press the bell for notifications as that lets YouTube know that you're really enjoying this series. And if you're already subscribed, leave a comment telling me you what your favorite part of Terracore is so far. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're Gersh? I thought you already had oh uh, Terra Spark boots. No, I still got uh, Frost Spark boots. Oh, this okay. All right. All right. This is, this is it's, a it's a work in progress. It's a it's a work in progress. Here are your here are your crystals. All right. I guess you don't care which one you get, right? Right. Hey. And a Thank bunny, you. huh? We'll just yes. uh, let that fella go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sure. 
that works. <laughs> well, nice doing business with you. All right, ah. one lava charm for you. Thank you. Uh, what am I paying? Thirty crystal. Oh uh, well, okay. There's my refund from that all gone from the mini game. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I said no refunds, but whatever. Yeah. Wait. He got a refund. Shut up. <laughs> Expense special, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What? No refunds. I didn't think that would kill you. Go oh, blue. <laughs>
So, um, she's going to be victim number one. She is going to get the boot. Yes, I know it's a shoe. <laughs> We're going to deposit the shoe into her inventory, leave a sign telling her to message me, and then we're going to tell her what her punishment is. There, it's not going to be anything major. It's not going to be like, give me all of your money. That's ridiculous. Nobody wants to do that. They're, they're going to be little fun things, like doing the entire intro of your video backwards or something. Let me know in the comments what you think her punishment should be, but we're going to head down here and pass this on to her. Victim number one. She got the boot. Victim number one. AFK farms are no longer safe. It's sad days. Sad days indeed. I'm out of here. I have about three or four different shops in mind, and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to build first. So I held a poll over on my YouTube channel's community tab, and I asked you all, which shop do you think I should build first? And the overwhelming majority of you had decided on a fishing shop. And I agree, I, I think it'd be a fantastic shop to get into today. So that's what we're going to be tackling. The shop is going to be themed after another reference to The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of time and this is going to be Jabu Jabu. Although I'm not going to have it sitting in a lake, I'm going to be building it in a sky island. I guess a sky lake, maybe a custom sky lake. So that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to be doing. I don't know if I'll have time to finish it all today, but I'm going to try my best. And here we are, my fishing shop. I'm really proud of it. I found prime real estate right in between the town, castle, and... Okay, I'm kidding. Obviously, I'm kidding. This isn't my fishing shop. But this will be indicating where the fishing shop is because I do want to put it up in the sky, kind of right around here. Ironically, I don't know who it is. I, I suspect Kushin, but somebody else also had the idea of having a little bit of a sky shop too. And it seems that they sell actuators. It's pretty interesting. I did not expect to see that pop up right around the time that I started uh, building a sky island. But we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna just start off by placing some chain and I'll probably replace it with a different kind of rope. I'm thinking maybe silk rope painted brown or I might leave it as chain. I don't know, but I want some way for players to get up to the, uh, the, the sky island if they don't have the means to and I'll adjust that as we go, but we're gonna start off by building a nice cloud area. I have a random question for you all. I'm considering what I want to do for my next subscriber milestone special, and I was thinking about celebrating it partly in the live stream. I know that I'm a few months out from that goal still, but what I'm planning will take a bit of preparation. So my question to you all is, would you be interested in watching me do some real life building in a special live stream? And by real life, I mean with Legos. I'm going to be having my milestone video where I build something in Terraria and I also build it in real life with Legos. So I'm curious if you all would like to watch the process live in the stream as well. Let me know in the comments what you think. It wasn't long, but unfortunately too long before Kishin noticed that she had received the boot. Yes, I know it's a shoe. And so I have given her her first punishment. The first victim has been claimed. And for her next episode, she is going to have to read everything in German. Any item that she uses, she can't say stone block. She has to say stein block. It's going to be hilarious. And you'll have to check out the video with that punishment in it. It's, it's going to be really funny. Now that we have a basic cloud in shape here, I'm going to be switching and doing some landscaping as if it's going to be holding up a bit of land above it. And I left some clear bits of no background cloud wall over here so that I could eventually throw in some dirt 
over here and make it look like the dirt is blended in with the cloud. I forgot to grab some dirt wall. No big deal. I'll be able to grab that in a fair bit anyway. But we're going to just start off by laying out a bit of landscaping on top of the cloud. And it's going to make it look a little bit more full. I wasn't too happy with this ugly blocky sign indicating where the uh, fishing shop was going to be and just the chain dangling there with no purpose. So I added a weight to it, kind of like a little scaffolding thing. I got rid of the signpost entirely and this will be the indicator to the shop. And even if you don't have any sort of jump or anything, you can climb on top of GameGo here and climb all the way up. Now, I have not built Jabu Jabu himself. He's obviously going to be a much smaller to scale than the one in the original game, but I have completed most of the landscaping here and I made a small dock as well. I'm very happy with it. However, that's all the time that I have for today. Some things came up. I have some errands to run and it's been a few days since episode five came out. I think you guys are due for episode six. So in the next episode, we will continue this shop. We will check the profits on our other shops and our mini game. We're going to work on the farm. I really need to work on that AFK farm. And we'll have some other things happening in the next episode. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Happy building.